So when I was 26, I bought a tandem and a camera with the idea of creating my first adventure film documentary. So my idea was to start in Alaska and cycle on this tandem bicycle all the way down to Argentina, to the tip of Argentina, so the length of both continents, and uh, invite random strangers to get on the back seat and pedal with me and share their stories, share the journey. After four days uh, traveling on the bicycle on my own, not really seeing anyone, I was just south of the first mountain range, the Brooks Range, and I realized that all my uh, fierce wilderness independence was kind of evaporating very, very quickly. And I craved company um, to sit down with, share a beer, share conversation, nothing complex, just company. And at about that time, I did meet the fir my first companion to ride on the bike. He was so one of the most basic things I learned from this first companion, Charlie Kunkin, his name was, was um, sharing stories or to be, I guess, really to be, to have a dependency on someone is a really lovely thing. Um, bonds grow so much more if you are vulnerable and need the help of someone else. But as I ventured further and further south, picking up um, and dropping off all sorts of different people, uh, from school kids to, um, you know, families that put me up, uh, you know, having met me on the side of the road and living a few miles down the road, they'd decide to take me in. And after a night, they would think, one of, one of the members of the family would think that the trip sounded so fun that why the hell wouldn't they take a, a day or two to accompany me and be part of it. And, and, you know, people want, I think inherently, to be part of something. You know, I go further and further down and more and more different types of people join me south of the Mexican border, you know, people would join me just to get to the next village instead of riding a horse or uh, paying money to go in a bus or whatever. So month by month, and it took two years to get to southern Patagonia, to get to the end, end of the trip, two years and two months, and I arrived in the dead of winter, exhausted. Um, but the one thing that I had learnt ab above all is rather than do what we're kind of encouraged to do every day by society, which is um, treat strangers with uh, um, distrust uh, and if in doubt shut up and keep walking kind of attitude I learned that it actually pays to be the opposite broadly speaking if you open yourself up to every single person you come across by law of averages you will come out on top it will be more than 50 significantly more than 50 percent positive it sounds cliche, but I think it would be a very easy thing to start with to look into people's eyes when you are walking down the street. Um, because it's very, very well saying, you know, that you have a smile on your face, but if you're looking at the curb or looking away from people, you're not making a connection. But if you look into people's eyes and smile, you know, it's written everywhere that it can, your smile can make a difference to someone's day, but it's it's true um, and more importantly by smiling at someone else you can gain a great deal but it, it could lead to you helping them or vice versa and I guess that's what make, makes the world go around so you don't have to travel anywhere particularly it literally is on the street outside